former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Chief Emeka Ayangu, says Nigeria needs a new constitution to arrest the ongoing economic deterioration situation in the country. Ayangu made this advocacy in Adwekiti, the Kiti State Capital, on Friday, 28 October 2023, while delivering the 2023 Convocation Lecture of Afebabala University, Adwekiti, titled Management of Diversity, a Major Challenge to Governors in Pluralistic Countries. According to the former Commonwealth Secretary General for Nigeria to achieve the desired transformation, the country needs a system of government that not only addresses Nigeria's diversity but based on a constitution that can correctly be described as the Nigerian People's Constitution. I call on the presidency in consultation with the National Assembly instead of Continuing to tinker with the 1999 Constitution to acknowledge the urgent necessity of a new Constitution to be made by the people of Nigeria. Ayanku called on the federal government to immediately convene a National Constituent Assembly of directly elected representatives on a non-party basis, whose task will be to discuss and agree on a new constitution. I invite the federal government to immediately embark on the following practical steps. First, convene a National Constituent Assembly of directly elected on a non-party basis representatives whose task would be to discuss and agree a new constitution for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Taking into account the 1963 and 1999 constitutions as well as the recommendations of the 2014 National Conference. In his remark, the chief host, Arrea Febabalala, said until the constitution is changed, there's no way the country can achieve what it ought to achieve. We have to make people understand that policies only for service to the people and not for making money. But this too is not be regarded, will not be seen as business. And we need a new concern to do that. Later in the evening was the Founders' Dinner and the Awards Night as part of the activities to celebrate the Founders' 14th anniversary and the 11th Unbroken Convocation Ceremony. <laughs> Babalolo, the founder, uh, is an exceptional man. Men like him don't come around very often. I am totally impressed with what is happening at Abwood. Abwood is just not another African university. Abwood is a, is a university to be reckoned with. It's done incredible. We are ranked 4,000 back there. Abwood is ranked number 221. Here at Abwood, impossibility is made possible. And so you can see for yourself, our success story continues and uh, we will only even aspire to be better than the best. And the prize for the overall best graduating female was won by Grace Aronciola. The overall best graduating student, no other person than Aronciola Grace Oluwa Wow. You again. Congratulations. I'm grateful to the Almighty God actually, that's how I feel. I'm just full of gratitude to the Almighty God because I don't think I would have been able to come this far 
if not for God. The high point of the ceremony was the cutting of the anniversary cake by Are Afe Babalola and his wife Yeye Mudupe Babalola. They were supported by the former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Chief Emeka Ayanku. Appreciating the goodness of God in the life of Abwa in the last 13 years is the celebrant Are Afe Babalola. On the bandstand entertaining the audience is the two music legend King Sonny Ade. <laughs> Reporting for Pop TV News at Dickity. People of the Fountain.